Resident Evil Village. PS4 gameplay. Oh, that's right, baby. J-Rock is here because some PS4 gameplay or PS4 Pro gameplay for Resident Evil 8 just dropped not too long ago. So you know what we got to do? Come on back and let's check this thing out. Hi, Lee. J-Rock has come back to you, too. What is happening in 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 with the millions? <laughs> and the millions of J-Rock's fans from all over the world. J-Rock is here. Uh because we gotta check out this gameplay that uh just dropped for Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil 8, whichever one you want to go with. And apparently this is gonna be some PS4 Pro gameplay. Uh, J-Rock will be playing this on the PS5 when it drops. But I guess IGN just released some gameplay footage of it on the PS4 Pro in 4K. So let's check this thing out. Real quick, if you got a reaction request, you want J-Rock to check out a video, uh, put your request down in the comment section below. If I choose your video, I will give you a quick shout out right here on the People's Channel. And also, if you're coming back to the Great Ones Channel, or if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the Great Ones Channel. If you're someone who likes video game, you know, Sports reaction, movie trailer reactions, movie reviews, that sort of thing, or you just like to be entertained in general, then you make sure you subscribe to the Great Ones channel because J Rock is, quite frankly, the most electrifying YouTuber in all of YouTube Tang Men. Um, and um, be sure to hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. All right, let's check this thing out, shall we? I played the demo. The demo is pretty cool. Uh, looks pretty smooth. I I really like the the first person perspective. I, I I thought Resident Evil was getting kind of dull. With all, you know, Resident Evil revelations and, you know, they're releasing this. Um, I know they redid Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. Um, but I really like the first person perspective. Uh, gets you right in the horror. But some people aren't fans of it. I, I personally am a fan of it. I appreciate it. Um, I mean, I like... Resident Evil 2 and 3, I played both of those. Um, but I like the, the, the first person aspect of it also. What is that? Ooh! Now, did that ain't lunge or am I seeing a thing? The erratic movement of these things. You gotta be a damn good shot to conserve ammo in this game. Unless you just run. Damn! Why wouldn't you use that the whole time? You had the shotgun? It's supposed to be the one hit a quitter now. And then they bring this damn music in. Woo! Damn! Out of ammo? 
Huh. Why didn't you just shoot the... Oh! Or, not, or shoot it down, knock it down, and run by it. I don't know. You said no, using your little knife. Uh-oh, I had a feeling that was going to break. You know she see you. That's one tall drink of water right there. says this um th that ending was a bit unexpected but okay um apparently you're supposed to be able to like kick and punch the, the zombies i guess we didn't see any of that that type of combat or we didn't rather see any of that combat in this uh, but I'm, I'm anxious to see how that looks uh is there a countering system can you you know dodge to the left i know you can block but can you dodge to the left dodge to the right that's always been one of my biggest pet peeves. Like, you would think that in an, a, a zombie apocalypse, even the average, you know, person would be able to punch, kick, dodge, move, duck, that sort of thing. And the stiffness of these characters in these games, man, it's just, it, it just, it just, oh, it irritates me so much. It's like you literally, you intentionally made them stiff. Like, you can't loosen them up a little bit? Come on, bro. This on the PS5, PS4. But... I'm really looking forward to playing this game. Like I said, I like the first person ver uh, view of this, right? Some people didn't too much care for it. They preferred the over the shoulder third person. I like third person over the shoulder, but I also like this too. I think there's a different twist on it. Um, considering, you know, a lot of good horror games are first person. And so uh, this being, you know, uh, 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 a nostalgia type game, uh, think it'll be good to have i think it's good to have that different viewpoint as well or or at the very least how about you just give them the option you know like in gta 5 give them the option you want to do first person you want to do third person right and so give them that option to to switch it up but either way uh i like this post comments down below uh and let me know what you thought of j-rock's reaction to this video no rhyme intended on that line uh, let me know your thoughts on the game, how you feel about it, you're looking forward to playing it, and whatnot, what you like about it, what you don't. And if you enjoyed The Great One's reaction to this, make sure you hit that like button, you subscribe, and you share. Oh, okay? Uh, if you did not like The Great One's reaction to this, Jerox says take a stroll down Know Your Road Boulevard, hang that right on Jabroni Drive, and then check your Rudy Poo candy ass into the Smackdown Hotel. Um, also, be sure to hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. All right? Appreciate y'all joining the great one. Until next time. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. If you smell, ow, but J-Rock is cooking.